let's uh, try to finish off this bottle of um, sparkling apple cider. It's not uh, it's not champagne. It's just apple cider, but it's unusually good. I wish I could uh, afford to buy it all the time. So we'll just close the, uh, or begin the new year rather, 2016. Cheers. Toast. Prost. Skull. Yeah, it's unusually good. Doesn't taste like apple cider. I've had champagne many times and uh, before I started to use the uh, painkillers. Makes a good approximation to champagne. Very good. New Year. New Year's resolutions. Health. Wealth. Happiness. We have these uh, whole plate of uh, false money <laughs> for children Kindergelt false Kindergelt just playing with Playing with chocolate as if it was playing with chocolate as if it was real money. Playing with chocolate wrapped in gold foil. Lights just flickered. Did you see that? Light just flickered. I don't know why. Whoa! Whoa! Stop that! I got a ghost. Never told you uh, folks before, but I believe my house is haunted. Ever since I moved in, I've had uh, weird events happen. Ever since I moved in here, Doors open by themselves, cabinets open by themselves and then close, things disappear. Of course, that might be my faulty memory, so I don't hold much value in that. But uh, there does seem to be a lot of unusual things happening. Of course, again, it might be the drugs that I use causing uh, minor hallucinations.
So you might call this uh, the devaluation of the currency. <laughs> call this the devaluation of the currency. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe someday the chocolate coins will actually be worth more than a dollar. And we can buy and sell. We can buy and sell stuff with chocolate coins. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just it just strikes me funny. I know outwardly it doesn't seem to be funny, but when you think of using play money as a means of exchange chocolate, it does uh, strike me as ridiculous. Mm. Salute. This is uh, a replica of the Bill of Rights attached to the American United States Constitution. Some cowards out there Some people who want to find excuses for not defending their country. Some people who want to find excuses for not vote, voting. Some people out there who want to find excuses for living as parasites claim that the Bill of Rights doesn't exist anymore. If the Bill of Rights doesn't exist anymore, what is this replica? What is this copy? You see it right before you. The founders of America claim that these rights were inalienable. That people are born with these rights. How can you take rights away from someone who are born with these natural rights. It can't be done. If you will check on United States history at one time, only property holders could vote. Only white males could vote. Even the Senate of the United States was appointed, the senators were appointed by the several states, respectively. It took a long time to have universal suffrage and to allow women to vote, to allow people of color to vote. A long time and a lot of hardship, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. And these cowards who say that we don't have a Bill of Rights anymore are using their laziness and their cowardness as an excuse not to participate. It's up to you, people, to participate and enforce the Bill of Rights. As you are born with these rights naturally by being a human. That's the only qualification to be a human. We still have the Bill of Rights. It's the cowards out there who are not enforcing the Bill of Rights. 
For example, this is a book about Giordano Bruno, who was burned at the stake. And no, I'm not claiming that any particular religion did this heinous, heinous crime. Because every monotheistic religion has killed people in the name of their deity. That's why they needed a whole book to explain why Giordano Bruno was burned. The blurb down here says, Philosopher Heretic. And as I mentioned in one of the past videos, when I was talking to a self-professed Christian, he said something to the effect, Oh, you believe in philosophy. Philosophy is the love of wisdom. If you don't love wisdom, you don't even know what you're talking about. Because King Solomon, the wise king of Israel, was supposed to be a lover of wisdom. And so was this person who was burned for his belief, Giordano Bruno, but he's not the only one. And we'll touch on that again in the future. Kisses, chocolate drops. Again, in one of the past videos, it may be a legend, it may be a wives' tale, a folk tale, but allegedly, chocolate will uh, help you help people come out of depression. They're just chocolate drops covered with uh, aluminum foil. Just chocolate. Nothing sensational. Nothing miraculous. Though there are miraculous things in this world. There are foods that are claimed to have magical properties. Some people believe so. Some people think so. Just uh, aluminum foil to protect the chocolate. But it's sort of a tradition for many people. Probably because of the name Kisses. This is a tube of what some people think is magical. In ancient times, chemists called alchemists in old stories are supposed to have worked many hours. Many days 
many months, many years to create this. It's called Ormus. Monoatomic gold. It's supposed to have magical properties. I've tried it. And frankly, honestly, I haven't noticed anything unusual. It's called monoatomic gold or Ormus. Some people swear by it. Some people also claim it's dangerous. It's supposed to help you become more spiritual, more psychic, and extend your life. Like in ancient Egypt, in ancient Greece, the gods are supposed to have used it, even in ancient India, by the way. Their stories that the gods had a special food that made them live for thousands of years. But the backstory is that it might be addictive and uh, it also might cause uh, strange and peculiar biological problems that are really. Uh, Difficult to diagnose. But I don't know. I don't know. It didn't do anything for me. But then maybe I have the wrong brand. I'll have to go to the apothecary. And talk to my alchemist. Thank you for watching this video. Happy New Year. Enjoy life. That's what it's all about. Be happy, wealthy, and wise.